We've never observed something come from nothing. Now think about this. The, the universe is something. <laughs> this world we live in is something. You and I are something. Now, science shows that this universe is finite. And what that means is it's, it had a beginning and it's going to have an end. So, if, not, if something has never been observed coming from nothing, that means the universe came from something, right? However, this led to a very big conundrum in logic. If the universe is finite and had a beginning, and we've never observed something come from nothing, then that means that the universe came from some other source. And this was a conclusion that some just couldn't deal with. Think about it. If there was ever a time when there was nothing, there would still be nothing. So scientists have to explain why there is something instead of nothing, right? But then someone responded and said, wait a minute, we have observed at least one thing come from nothing. No, it wasn't something as complex as a dog, but it was virtual photons in what's known as the famous Casimir effect or Casimir experiment. System of the famous Casimir effect, which was predicted by Casimir in 1948. Surprisingly, two conducting uncharged parallel plates attract each other in a vacuum. The reason is that there are always virtual photons. Photons are particles of light. There are virtual photons that come into and out of existence, even though no real photons may be present. Virtual photons cannot be directly observed, but they have consequences that can be observed. Because photons carry momentum, and because there are fewer photons between the plates, there's an imbalance of light pressure, which produces a, an attractive force on the plates. This force is extremely small and was not accurately confirmed until a half a century after its prediction. So here's what the argument is basically saying in a nutshell. We can at least say that it's possible that the universe sprang from nothing because we've observed at least one thing spring from nothing, virtual photons in the Casimir experiment. But before you go trusting in quantum fluctuations to save the day, there's a couple of things about these virtual photons I'd like you to consider. These virtual particles are governed by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. That's just a fancy name for a simple law that basically says, in part, that a short-lived state cannot have a well-defined energy. And that just means that the law places a limit on the amount of time that a quantum fluctuation can exist. You see, the greater the energy of the fluctuation, the shorter live the intervals of that fluctuation. Now, one would expect that the energy content of the entire universe to be quite enormous. So that would mean, that hypothetically, if the universe were, in fact, the result of a quantum fluctuation, that that energy content would prevent it from existing for more than an incredibly small amount of time. Any newly born universe from a quantum fluctuation would virtually instantaneously vanish. Now this makes it very difficult to imagine how our current immense universe could be the result of such a fluctuation.